Welcome to your day two of notes over an introduction to logarithms and today we're going to be focusing on expanding and condensing logs. So let's look at your properties of logarithms or logs review. We've got your product prop property right here where I can take the log of the bases and I can add uh, the log of, I'm sorry, the log of the base, I can add the factors, right? So log base A of M plus log base A of N. I can use the quotient property of logarithms where I take this numerator and this denominator and I subtract those. So log base A of M, that numerator, minus log base A of N, that denominator. And I can use the power property to take this exponent, if I have an exponent here, and I can move it out in front and multiply it by log base A of, and again, that should be an M there. I need to fix that. So the inverse property tells me that if I have the base is the same as this right here, uh, your answer is going to be the exponent, okay? So if I were to read, you know, if you kind of struggle understanding this, well, b to the power of what equals b to the power of x? Well, that's why this right here is the exponent, right? b to the power of what equals, right? If I were to rewrite it, b to the power of x, well, that exponent, it should be x, right? So what are we looking for? It's just x, or it is the exponent. So when we expand logs, we're gonna take this condensed log and we're gonna rewrite it using all of our properties of logarithms. So I can see that I have, I'm going to expand log base five of x to the fourth times five y all to the seventh. So what am I going to do? The first thing that I'm going to do is I know that this right here is five to the seventh times y to the seventh, right? So that's really important to remember because on the inside of those parentheses, it's really x to the fourth times five to the seventh times y to the seventh. Okay, so if I were to rewrite this, I'm gonna use the product property and I'm gonna rewrite it as log base five, right? It all has this base, log base five of x to the fourth plus log base five of five to the seventh plus log base five of y to the seventh right? So now I can use that power property to still take each of these exponents and put it in front of the log. That tells me I'm going to multiply that number times the log of whatever I'm looking for. So when I rewrite this first one, and let's see if I can change colors here. I'm going to change colors to, let's do purple. That's going to be four times the log base five of x plus I'm going to take that exponent, 7 times the log base 5 of 5, which I know the log base 5 of 5 to be 1. So that's going to be plus 7, right? I can easily simplify that. And we're not going to write that down. We're just going to leave it like this, but that would be 7. Plus, I can take that 7 here, put it out in front, times the log base 5 of y. And now this is my answer in expanded form, okay? That's that condensed log in expanded form. And then a lot of times when we do this, um, we it, it helps us solve um, these logarithms when we don't know what we're looking at because we can kind of make sense of pieces of it, okay? But all we're doing today is just expanding and condensing logs, okay? We'll, we'll focus on solving and simplifying more in future lessons, but let's look at this next one. We're going to expand log base 3 of a to the 5th times the square root of b divided by 6c to the 4th. So remember I, I, I wrote in yesterday's lesson um, that when we have a quotient right here, um, we are adding basically what's on top. Anything on bottom, we're going to be subtracting. There's going to be a subtraction sign in front of it. So just remember that. So when I rewrite this, I'm gonna kind of do one factor at a time. So log base three of, let's look at this first one, a to the fifth, plus log base three of 
the square root of b. Which the square root of b, remember, don't forget up here, the square root of something is the same thing as that base, raised to the power of 1 half. So I could rewrite log base 3 of the square root of b to be log base 3 of b to the power of 1 half. Just keep that in mind. So now we're going to focus on our denominator. We have a 6 and we have a c to the 4th. So anything in our denominator minus log base 3 of 6 minus log base 3 of c to the 4th. So just keep that in mind, right? Because we have two of those factors in our denominator, so there's a minus sign in front when I write it in expanded form. So now we're not done. We need to take any exponent, if there is one, and use that power property to move that exponent out in front. So in this first log, I'm gonna rewrite it as the five times the log base three of a, and I'm going to treat this next one like there's an exponent of one half. So I'm gonna take that one half, and move it in front, 1 half times the log base 3 of b, okay? Because the square root of b is the same thing as b to the power of 1 half, minus log base 3 of 6, there's no exponent, minus, I've got an exponent here, I need to move it in front, 4 times the log base 3 of c, and that's how I would write it in expanded form. So I know there's a lot going on there, but that's all we're doing is just expanding and condensing. So let's move on to number three. We're gonna condense number three and number four. Okay, it's in expanded form and we're going to condense it. So on number three, it says condense four times log of x plus three times the log of two y. Okay, so you might also see it looking like that. So let's first, um, kind of go in the reverse order of what we just did, where we're going to take these numbers out in front and we're going to put them as exponents, right? So that becomes the log of x to the power of 4, right? And it's just, there's no base, so it's assumed to be what? 10, okay? So log of x to the 4th plus the log of 2y to the power of Three. So it wasn't totally expanded, but that's okay because we know log of 2y is going to be, two, the whole thing is going to be cubed. So that's important to remember because 2y cubed is the same thing as 2 cubed times y cubed. So just remember that. And, you know, you can write it both ways and your teacher will not take off. So now I'm going to uh, do the reverse using that product property of logarithms. And I know that when I'm adding these logs, same base, right, which is assumed to be 10, same base, um, I'm, I'm going to multiply these factors. So x, x to the fourth times 2y cubed. So I can rewrite it as log of x to the fourth times 2y cubed. You can also write it as the log of x to the fourth 2 cubed, which is 8, right? And I like to write that in front, so I'm just going to write it like this right now, times y cubed, which means, and let me change colors here because it kind of gets to be a lot. There's a lot going on. I'm going to rewrite 2 cubed, and that would be the log of 8 x to the fourth y cubed. So you could write it this way. You could write it this way. I'm sure your teacher would take both of those. Um, if not, I'm sure he or she will specify. Let's move on to number four. So there's a whole lot going on in number four. The first thing I'm gonna do, and notice that we can only condense these because we have the same base, right? You gotta have the same base. If they don't have the same base, you can't expand or condense them, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna do, if there's a number in front of that log, I'm gonna take it and move it so that it becomes the exponent. So I'm going to rewrite this as log base 2 of a to the power of 6 plus the log base 2 of b to the power of 1 half minus the log base 2 of 3 minus the log base 2 of c cubed. 
and now we can start putting some of these together. So same base, we've got the exponents there, we've got some addition and sub subtract some addition and some subtraction, with, which means we've got a quotient going on, right? Some stuff is going to go in the numerator, some stuff is going to go in the denominator. So anything that has a plus sign in front goes in the numerator. Anything that has a minus sign in front will go in the denominator. So let's move on. So this will be log base 2 of, what do we have going on here? a to the 6th goes in the numerator. b to the power of 1 half goes in the numerator. Could I rewrite it? You could write b to the power of 1 half. Could you also write the square root of b? Sure. 3 will go in the denominator because there's a minus sign in front. And c cubed will go in the denominator because there is a minus sign in front. So that's how I would rewrite that log base 2 of a to the 6 times the square root of b divided by 3c cubed. And that would be your answer in expanded, or I'm sorry, condensed form. So that concludes your notes over day two, introduction to logarithms, focusing on expanding and condensing logs. I hope it was helpful.